that anyone that had that symbol was one. That is when you start getting into a bad way of thinking, okay? Because what happens if you did, you got, there was a point in your life where you didn't know about those symbols. Don't lie to me and tell me it wasn't before WikiLeaks. Before WikiLeaks put those out in 16, you didn't know about those symbols or whenever WikiLeaks put them out, you didn't know. The majority, 99.9 .9 of all of us didn't know about it until WikiLeaks put it out, right? Anyway, what I'm telling you is this is how Titus does content. You can almost predict it. If Titus was to tell me, hey, guys, tomorrow I'm going to do a video on the new um, Chili Gate that's, uh, that's coming out of uh, the Mexicans' Chili Gate. I don't know. Whatever. There's a Chili Gate in Mexico. It's the new Pizza Gate. Pizza Gate 3.0 with Voodoo Donuts being 2.0, right? Um, Titus says, I'm going to do a video tomorrow. All you got to do is go look on the internet and search for the symbol around Mexico, find it, put it into a video where Titus goes like a uh, duh, huh, hoo, ha, huh, huh, over and over again. You could recreate Titus's video before it was released. Take a listen. Taipei City, Taiwan. Here's their wonderful shop that's so wonderful it gets, you know, media reviews. It looks like a tiny little shithole. Yeah, it's just a, like, the, look at him. Now, Titus, before Titus would go in the shop, before Titus would try the food, before Titus would give it any credence, he throws out the ability for this shop to be liked by any other human being at all just because he wants you to hate Voodoo Donuts. He's psyoping you because he could say, yeah, they could have the best donuts ever. It could be a nice little shop. You can tell it's nice and lit, nice and orange, and blah, blah, blah. He could say good things about this shop. But the only reason he's going to do bad things nonstop on anything that is connected to Voodoo Donuts is because he's trying to psyop his damn audience. Like, how does a place like this open up? How does it open up? Because Voodoo Donuts paid for uh, one of their locations to be open in that area. And then a bunch of people decided to go around and find a place for Voodoo Donuts to rent out to sell their donuts in Taiwan. Then one of their marketing agents flew there and looked at the area and said, this would be a great spot. Can we fit the kitchen here? And we can fit the donut making there. And we can fit the icing over there. And we got the spot for the customers there. Then people brought in cash registers and all the machines to make the donuts. Then they went and ordered all the food products. They went and hired some people. They got the donuts going. They trained the people. They played some vi DVDs and videos for them and gave them an outfit. They put them on and then they made the shop work. That's how they did it, you fucking moron. Okay, let's keep going. And then get like massive media reviews like right away from like... Because that's impossible. See, he's insinuating that the media reviews of Voodoo Donuts in Taiwan are bullshit. That's what, vo that's what Titus is insinuating right now. It's entirely predictable. Anything good about this place will immediately be bad to Titus. Remember when he did this about the pizza places? And remember when he did this about any other shop that was identified to be a part of Pizzagate? Because Titus is predictable -less. Vice in all these places. You know, why is Alephanis at like all these parties pictured in Washington Life magazine and all this stuff? Where did that come from? Where did that come from? He was talking about how bad the Taiwan location of Voodoo Donuts is. And out of nowhere, his brain says, yeah, this this row, how could this restaurant get good reviews here in Taiwan for donuts? How could they build this donut shop? Alephantis was pictured at all these parties in, in pizza place in D.C. Where's the train of thought? Where is the content? Where's what he's trying to do here? Where his where's his presentation that he wrote? Did Titus write a presentation and set this up to prove a point, to show you evidence? Or did he just want to placate the mindless, sheeple, voodoo donuts, brain-dead masses with his head on the hydra? Well, you know what I think. Like, why are these guys all connected to the media? Why is Jake Tapper's favorite restaurant to bring his kids to Comet Ping Pong? Where is this coming from, Titus? Titus has Pizzagate dystopia phobia. So anytime Titus talks about something, and you could probably ask his family and friends this, like, okay, so if he goes to a fucking, like, I don't know, what's he do in his spare time? Go to bar mitzvahs or something, and he's, like, watching them hold people on the chair, like, da 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 da, -da and then he has a conversation with someone, like, did you like the, did, did you like the punch? Oh, I love, 
This is Titus. Oh, I, I love the punch. Why is James Fantas over in Pizzagate trying to hook up with Hillary Clinton and protect him? And the dude's like, T dude, I just asked you about the punch. I thought it was nice and orangey. It's got this, like, carbonated to it. It's really good. Yes, but why did uh, John Podesta fly with Madeleine McCain and kidnap those kids? Remember those? I mean, this is Titus fucking pizzagate phobia He's got it on the brain, y'all, for a straight five years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... No, we don't know what you mean, Titus. <laughs> What is going on here, exactly? My question, <coughs> my question, exactly. And how is any of this not, like, real? Like, what, am I making this stuff up? Yes! And you're so guilty of it that you constantly say that in every video that you do. So I've noticed by going back and watching Titus's content, one other theme, other than him to have violent Tourette-like outbursts about Pizzagate every fucking 10 minutes. Also, he has violent Tourette-like outbursts where he says, am I making this up? Yes, because you're guilty. Inside, you're a good person. But you're making really evil, bad decisions to manipulate your viewership and to put on the expected show. I don't know who is pressuring you to put on these expected shows, Titus, but you are outing yourself. It's so fucking obvious, dude, that I couldn't just sit back and not do this show because you're not going to stop. Next year, by, by next year, if I just shut my mouth and not do anything, and most likely even if I make six videos outing you, now by next year you will have three more businesses that you target with videos like this that's just a random Google search. You right-click it, hit open in a new tab, order it up in a line, Go through it for an hour and a half with the most baseline commentary anyone could think of. And as long as you sprinkle in a few Tourette-like outbursts adhering to Pizzagate and him being guilty of making this stuff up, you've got a patented Mr. Frosty video. Let's move on, but let's hear the last part of this. Downtown Portland, our new listing station's pumping out all the latest Voodoo Donuts recorded tunes. Hashtag Voodoo Donut Recordings. I wonder what he's going to say about this. I could only guess. Downtown Portland at our new listening station, pumping out all the latest voodoo, uh, voodoo Donut Recordings, right? So there you go. And this chick's making the satanic hand sign, of course. So just want to point that out. And I haven't done the metadata. Do you not see how fucking closed-minded this guy is? Not are these just satanic hand signs, which the last time I checked, I would say these aren't satanic hand signs. This is a rock and roll thing, okay? Most people, now you've got to stop being so prejudiced that you only look at things that happen under your fucked up worldview. So ask yourself, does this dreadlocked girl who's doing this sign is she more likely doing it to hail satan or is she doing it with her headphones on because it's about music and rock and roll because a lot of people who know nothing about satanism or satanic hand signs because they're not obsessed with it and pedophilia like mr frost is would if they hear a good rock and roll song due to the fact that they've been listening to rock and roll for their very short 20 to 25 year old lives hold up the rock and roll symbol for god's sakes now ask yourself is the intent of this person to hold up the satan horns or is the intent of this person to hold up rock and roll well they could be holding up satan horns i'm not telling you they're not i'm not telling you that this girl could not be worshiping satan right now hail satan she could be saying it's possible, but I'm just telling you, 90% more likely that she's holding up this and saying rock and roll. I'm not going to say she's not, though, okay? But let's hear what he has to say so we can get the hell off this horrible video. Voodoo Donut recordings, right? So. So let's see. I guarantee you, if I play more of his video, we're going to have a few things happen. Very Tourette-like outbursts involving Pizzagate, James Elfantis, John Podesta, Hillary Clinton, Huma Abedin, most likely he's going to say something about him making this stuff up again before this video ends, but I could just be crazy. There you go, and this chick's making the satanic hand sign, of course. So, just want to point that out. And I haven't done the metadata analysis on this yet against the satanic 
uh, Department of Justice cult awareness document, but I bet if you did, you would find some interesting connections to these dates. This is on 16 November. So you're telling me, Titus, Titus is trying to get me to believe that just because Voodoo Donuts posted this on 18 November of 2016, that there would be some type of weird connection with some crazy fucking shit he just said. What? It's on 10 November. Swing by our Voodoo 2 location on 1501. So there, here's their Voodoo 2 location, right? And here you go. The Michael Whalen guy had mentioned the child coffin thing. They're donut coffins, bro. They are coffins for donuts, not kids. <laughs> uh, it says it right there. Coffin filled with donuts so they can fit their, you know, um, Halloween slash, what do you call it? Uh, graveyard theme of zombies bursting out of the ground eating donuts. My assertion is that Titus is a head on a hydra sucking brains out of sheep woke conspiracy minded individuals though keep that in mind um in his interview with ltv so here's just backing up that here is this backing so did you just hear what this dude just said this is not logical this is not for an audience to contemplate intellectually this is for an audience to let titus do the thinking for them that's why i call him a psyop okay because he fits the bill He's telling you, Michael Whalen said that the small coffins used by Voodoo Donuts are for kids. And then, after they kill kids and put them in the fucking coffins, they put donuts in them so they can play tricks on Voodoo Donut people that eat Voodoo Donuts. And Titus is saying, look, I've got a picture of a van with the coffins that they ship donuts, and they're admitting it right here on my screen. They admit it, for God's sakes. It says right here, coffin filled with donuts available at Portland and Eugene location. Voodoo donut, coffin filled with donuts, donuts. But Titus sees kid coffins. Who's the sick person, guys? Who's the sick person? The guy that made the donut shop, who made donuts that look like ghosts and goblins and shipped them in little tiny coffins as a fucking extra level of immersion into the strange folklore that these guys entertain. Who's dumber, the guy who does that and becomes a millionaire off of his company or the YouTuber who becomes, who makes hundreds of thousands of dollars through, you know, multi-channel network deals with Lift the Veil and Random Rants of Ryan and everyone else being pushed by some person behind them, which is starting to look like it's a politically driven person or the Sophia Music guy, one of them, to tell these guys to keep putting this shitty content out where they do the thinking for you. If it wasn't, then Titus would pull this up and he'd give you an intellectual breakdown of how this connects to Vegan Mikey, Lift the Veil, and them. His connection is simple. Mikey said it, so it's real. Why? Just like when I busted Titus's ass hardcore about Operation Backyard Brawl. Yeah, that's why Titus started talking shit on me. All it took was me to analyze what Screwy Louie was saying and say, Titus, you're a fucking moron if you think Screwy Louie's being real. He pushed Screwy Louie for another two fucking weeks, okay? And I even said it nice back then because Titus was trying to pretend to be cool with me. And I think that someone told Lift the Veil, Titus, Ryan, um, and a few other people to try to contact me and induct me into their little fucked up group but i don't go along with group think i think for my goddamn self and when i noticed that screwy louie was a goddamn fbi plant and i proved it to you when i noticed that screwy louie was lying about all the evidence he had i put it all into a document and sent it to lift the veil sent it to titus and sent it to everyone else titus said i was wrong Titus did several live streams where he said that whoever thinks that screwy louie is lying is an idiot and shouldn't be trusted. Then two weeks later comes out and says, I apologize, I now think this screwy Louie is a liar. Titus, why can't you look at my fucking data on vegan Mikey just like you wouldn't do for screwy Louie? Look at my data, because I actually did work, Titus, that you are incapable of doing. I actually analyzed the video footage, 
proved where Mikey was lying, got a hold of the police department, asked them if Mikey did a police report, found out that Mikey only did police reports against people that were crowd stalking him and did no police reports talking about kids in coffins, kids in voodoo donuts coffins. He did no police reports about kids being abused at these parties. None at all, nothing. And I did real investigational work to prove exactly what I'm saying. Then the mainstream media had two investigators that contacted the police and found out the exact same information. And I have those um, articles that were written to sum up those investigators to prove what we are stating is true. The vegan Mikey is a fucking liar. We've tried to tell Titus, we've tried to tell LTV, we've tried to tell everyone out there who re reports on voodoo fucking donuts that Vegan Mikey is a liar. Ask yourself this question. If Vegan Mikey would have not come out and said what he said about voodoo donuts, would these guys still be pushing this? No. All of their information had come from Vegan Mikey. This is how psyop bad these guys are. They're not investigators. They're not even reporters. They're definitely not investigative journalists. They are fucking pushing this because they know that a lot of people want to see it. A lot of people are spookified because they use coffins. They're spookified because they got little ghosts and ghouls in their donuts. They're creeped out because they will make donuts to order for people that want specific donuts for bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, for wedding ceremonies where they have little sexual things in there like penises and vaginas and stuff and boobies on donuts. And because of the things I've just stated, Titus wants to take all of that and warp it into a Pizzagate level conspiracy theory while doing no work at all. He just does a couple Google searches, opens a couple documents, lists them up, reads them to you and can't even articulate what he's saying in an understandable fashion and then tramps around the internet like yo i'm the best i got the truth blah 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 no he's a fucking zombie okay he's a goddamn zombie trying to eat your brains and if you buy into the voodoo donuts bullshit psyop mess you're basically handing him one of those little fucking ice cream scoopers you're opening up the little fucking you know sheeple open your head plate and you're saying here you go zombie titus take a couple bites buddy flame um you can clearly see here they have child coffins they deliver the donuts in these child sized coffins so tell us why are they child sized coffins or are they made to fit an order of donuts answer me this where is your evidence mr super investigator detective titus frosty nips where's your evidence that that is a child coffin and where is your evidence that it's not a donut sized coffin because if you look at the one that's open up in the truck, it's packed to the brim full of donuts, dummy. Sorry. Sorry, audience.